James, Danny Schofield's been appointed as Rovers head coach. How pleased are you about that? Uh, yeah, delighted. Um, obviously, it's it's not nice when, when somebody loses their job, but I think it was important for the club to um, act swiftly and, and get the right man. And um, yeah, we're delighted with his appointment. Just how important was that to have somebody in place, you know, ready for, for crew this weekend? He's got a couple of days to, to get his feet under the table, meet the players and, and try and get his ideas across. Yeah, I think it's part of my role as uh, head of football operations to... Um, you know, to be looking, you know, and I, I, I know that, you know, football is, is, is what it is and, and things change quickly. So, um, you know, for me, it's, it's what having one eye and on other things, on, on what other head coaches, managers are doing um, and understanding what we need as a, as a football club. Um, so, you know, once, once that happens, it's, it's appointing the right person at the right time and making sure that, um, we don't waste time because ultimately we, we have an objective this season and it's important that um, the players are, uh, have somebody to, to manage them. Just talk to us about that process then because from the outside people of course don't see the work going on behind the scenes but you always have to be one step ahead in your role don't you? Yeah I think so I think um, like you say, I think I've been in this four months, five months, um, and it's given me sort of time to assess the squad, to assess you know what happens behind the scenes, um, what resources are available, and how the clubs run, um, and then look at you know what what I think's out there and what I think would would best suit the squad, um, and that's something that I've been doing. And you know, as the time's gone by, it's something that I've been more sort of clear on. Um, so yeah, I, I get the opportunity, and it's like putting it into practice. What was it then about Danny Schofield that made him the right man for this role? I think there was a lot of things. I think sort of put some criteria together around, again, all the things that I've just spoke about. Um, you know, it's not something that I've... Or he's not something that I've just stumbled upon. Um, he's somebody that, you know, I've spoke to quite a lot of people about. Obviously went into Huddersfield around eight months ago um, when he was the BT manager. Um, and... Yeah, there was a lot of good things said about him at the time. And, you know, you look and think, you know, he, he would be fantastic um, if the opportunity came, you know, to take on this uh, this sort of squad and this club. Um, and then he got offered the role at Huddersfield. You know, they missed out on on the playoff final um, in the championship to get into the Premier League. Uh, worked with uh, arguably one of the best head coaches last season. Um so for him to get that opportunity, you know, I thought that that, that had passed for us um, and then it didn't work out for him there. So straight away, it's it's sort of an opportunity that I think the club will benefit from. You know, it wasn't a, a long spell at Huddersfield, but I think it'd be one that um, we can benefit benefit from as a club. It shows how highly rated he was at that football club as well. They were willing, on the back of getting to the, the Championship playoff final, a kick of a ball away from being a Premier League club, the fact that they were willing to put their trust in him as, as their head coach. Yeah, definitely. And I think, again, it's it's the experience that he's had with the B team. You know, 60% of our squad are 18 to 23, um, which is what we call a development phase um, and an important phase. Um, so, you know, having a coach who's been through that, who's sort of, who do, who's developed players, um, who understands what it takes, who's got a, a methodology and a way of working and understanding of this is what, this is how I want to play um, and coaches that way of playing is, is a big pull for me. It's a change from manager to head coach. How does that alter things from both Danny's perspective and, and yours as well? Yeah, I think... I think going back to the sort of the squad that we've got, where we are as a club, the resources that we have available, I think um, ultimately having a lot of players in that development phase, I think will benefit from a head coach. Um, a little bit different to a manager that comes in and, and manages a group rather than developing and coaching a team. Um, I see a big difference. Um, and like I said, when he became available, it was something that sort of straight away, you're sort of, you're sitting down, you're speaking to him, you're getting to learn about how he sees football, which is very similar to myself, um, how he sees his teams playing. Um, and the biggest thing I think is how he communicates that to the players. Um, you know, head coaches, managers, they have a way of playing, but it's the, the important thing is how you communicate that to your players every single day. Um, so I think, yeah, having a head coach is, is a massive step forward. 
We've spoken a lot in the last few months about how unique the club is in the way it does things and the way it runs itself uh, at the moment. And when you look at Danny, a Doncaster lad, he will buy into that, won't he? He knows what the area is all about. He knows what the club's all about as well. I think so. Yeah, I think although that wasn't uh, the reason for appointing him, it's a big, it's a big, big plus for us. Um, having somebody that understands the area, is from the area, um, is is massive. Um, and you know the club is a is a sustainable club. It, you know I've learned something in the last four or five months where every, every single member of staff, apart from as well as the football staff, you know the stadium staff, everyone associated with Club Doncaster is absolutely working tirelessly for the club. Um, and it's a massive positive in in my eyes. Um, and I think you know he'll definitely buy into it. Um, as have the players this season. Um, it's something to be proud of. You know what it's like as a player when a new manager or head coach comes in. You always seem to get that bounce, don't you? That's now the hope going into crew and, and for the rest of this season. Yeah, it's like I said, it's disappointing when the manager loses his job. Um, but from a player's perspective, it's so important that you take the emotion out of it um, and you look forward. And you know, when he when he starts his first day tomorrow, there'll be a lot of players that'll want to prove that they're good enough to start the team. Um, you know, there's a lot of lads that weren't playing that'll want to play. Um, and it's it's always sort of a fresh start, a fresh slate for everybody. Um, so I imagine the squad will be looking forward to to his appointment tomorrow and working with him in the future. And how excited are you by this new chapter, both for yourself and the football club? I think it's it's a massive opportunity for me. Um, I've relished the last four or five months, sort of learning, developing, um, and I think that's a big plus and a big big reason why why we brought Danny in because he's ambitious. Um, he wants to learn and develop. You know, nobody at this football club is the finished article by any stretch of the imagination. We know that. Um, that's where we find ourselves in League Two. Um, but I believe we've got somebody who who can lead the way. Um, who can develop a methodology, a way of playing that everybody can be proud of, but also everybody can get on board with. Um, we've got some really, really strong staff, um, some new staff. Um, we, I think we, we have a huge value match across the board. Um, and it's really exciting. For the first time in a long time, I'm, I'm really excited for um, what's to come.